morning and welcome to today's vlog. I already had one of these um, Think Thin plant-based protein bars and thank you to whoever recommended these on my last vlog. 13 grams of protein, they're vegan, only 5 grams of sugar, gluten-free and they're just super amazing. Um, so when I'm in a hurry, I usually will grab one of these for breakfast um, or I'll have one as like a after workout snack. I mentioned another protein bar that's vegan and that has a lot of protein in it. Um, I got these at Trader Joe's and it's the Trail Nuggets Pro. It's 10 grams of protein but the ingredients are like really amazing and minimal. It's like dates, almonds, protein powder, dried cranberries, beet powder, water, salt, and orange oil. Um, and then I'm also having this gigantic apple breakfast. I like don't even know. It's the biggest apple ever. Like one slice. I missed my workout class this morning, so today's going really good. But yeah, I just wanted to say what's up and welcome to today's video. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow my Instagram. See you guys a little later on. So I just got um, home from work. I'm having some lunch. I feel like all my vlogs are the same. Are you guys having deja vu as well? I make this, made this salad kind of a lot, but Veggie burger, edamame, asparagus, a little red onion, and then I have this green goddess dressing from Trader Joe's. 146. I'm really starving, so I'm also having some black coffee because I'm really tired. For dinner, I just got home from yoga, and for dinner tonight, focus. I made a smoothie bowl, and this is a peanut butter chocolate banana smoothie bowl with vanilla protein, all of the ingredients. Um, and then I topped it with some banana, a little bit of granola, a little bit of melted peanut butter, and some chia seeds. And I don't usually have like a smoothie bowl for dinner, but to be honest, I'm out of food. And then I think I'm just going to chill out and do some stuff on my computer. I have some emails and stuff, so... Yum. Okay, so I feel like all my vlogs are kind of getting similar, so I thought today I would do something a little different and give you guys health and fitness tips. And I don't know, I'm going to be talking about the three reasons you may not be losing weight in college. And this is something that I feel like every college student struggles with. Metabolism slows down and it's like your body just, it feels like it hates you. Is that just me? Okay. Keep in mind, I'm no expert and I could be saying something wrong. And I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments and that's totally fine. I'll acknowledge it and say, you're right. But these are just the things that have personally helped me lose weight in college. Just very quickly, I'm going to talk a little bit about you know, where I'm at in my health and fitness. I'm gonna use numbers because I feel like that's the easiest way to explain it to you. I'll also put up pictures, but don't you don't need to be going by how much you weigh in fact i would not recommend that very unrealistic way to keep prog progress of your fitness basically when i graduated high school i sat comfortably at about 130 pounds i was super active i played hockey i ate like complete shit for some reason my body didn't really affect to it not that i was ever like a super twig person but yeah and then my heaviest point in college was when i got home from my study abroad trip last year and that was after pretty much four months of eating whatever I wanted and barely working out. And I was at like 137, 138 pounds. That eight pound difference may not seem like a lot, but I definitely felt it because I lost muscle and gained fat. So I could definitely feel it, I could see it, and I just was really unhappy with my appearance. So I kind of was like, I really started prioritizing health and fitness. This is so cheesy, but it really is like a lifestyle change. And um, now sit at about 120 pounds. That is a whole like 15 pound difference. This is a picture of me freshman year of college, and this was a picture of me earlier this spring. Done it all, so I kind of I kind of know where you're at. If you're like, why am I not losing weight? So <laughs> number one is your diet. People say it all the time, but it is 80% diet and 20% exercise. So focus on what you're putting in your body, and that's hard for a lot of people to not understand but to actually implement diets don't work is the truest thing ever I don't even really like logically understand diets like why would eating a certain way for a specific amount of time and then returning to your old habits produce long-term results for me it took following a lot of you know like I watch a ton of YouTube videos a lot of what I eat in a day a lot of more interesting cooking and making my own food um, and just learning to like a lot of healthy food 
and knowing what makes me feel the best. If you are trying to specifically lose weight, it's important to know that it is a caloric deficiency which physically makes you lose weight. It is a science. You basically need to be burning more energy than you are consuming through your intake of food. I do not count calories. I try to fuel my body with whole foods and foods that are good for me and then as a result, I ended up losing weight. With that being said, even if you are consuming all whole foods and you are eating healthy, and I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with this, but you may be eating too much still. <laughs> a whole avocado is close to 400 calories. Is avocado good for you? Yes. Is it going to boost your metabolism? Is it gonna keep you full? Yes. But you should probably not be having a whole avocado in one meal. Those are things you should think about. I'm not saying you have to be like super strict, but you know. Final point about diet is most important to be fueling your body with whole and unprocessed foods. These are the foods that are going to keep you full, make your workouts better. They're going to increase your metabolism because your metabolism works harder to break them down. They also benefit your body with micronutrients. It is about balance. I say all of this and then you will definitely see me, you know, with chicken wings and ranch because that's my favorite food so called balance so my second tip for why you're not losing weight is you are just doing cardio this is something that I feel like so many college girls fall victim to it's like why I'm running on the treadmill I'm doing the stair stepper I'm doing the elliptical why am I not losing weight and it's because cardio doesn't make you lose weight really sorry I'm reading my phone because I have notes um, but I'm gonna insert a link to Natasha Ocean She's like really smart, I think, about health and fitness and her body's like freaking jacked in a good way. She did this video where she compared herself running an entire marathon, 26 miles, seeing how long it would take her to burn the same amount of calories by lifting weights. And it's just like the results are crazy. So I'm gonna link that below if you're interested. You burn more calories during and after you're done working out if you are, you know, building muscle, whether it's through weights or body weight workouts or whatever than just cardio. Um, and then my third reason why you may not be losing weight in a college is because during your workouts you aren't pushing yourself hard enough. This goes with the whole mantra of like listen to your body. For me, if I start a run, I can tell instantly if it's gonna be a good run day or a bad run day. And if it's a bad run day, I accept that, that you know what, you weren't have you weren't feeling it today. If it's a good day, I'll try to push myself and run two more miles. If you can tell that you're feeling weaker, let yourself have that rest because that's what your body needs. But if you can tell that you have a ton of energy, you feel really well rested, you're really well fueled, and you think you can push yourself, you can do an extra rep, you should be doing that. You the moments where you're like, I can't do it, I can't do it, but I'm gonna try for three more seconds where your body actually makes those changes. So, guys, I just talked for a marathon, I think. Those are my three tips elongated tips on why you may not be losing weight so yeah let's just get on with the rest of the vlog I don't really know where we're at right now just made some zucchini noodles with this vegan kale cashew basil pesto and then I cut up some cherry tomatoes, some um, small peppers, edamame for protein, avocado for healthy fats, and then I'm also having a, a multi-green kombucha. What's up? I'm gonna make a turmeric latte, so I was like, I would show you guys what I do. We just took graduation picture. Here is our pants. Like, where are pants? Okay. I love the lighting in my apartment. It's like so pretty. And turmeric is obviously really good for you. It's like anti inflammatory. And I don't know, there's some other health benefits out there if you want to Google. I just put as much almond milk as I'm planning on having in, a, in my mug. And then I'll go ahead and in a pot. So you will need um, ginger, turmeric, uh, cinnamon, thanks Katie, this is yours, coconut oil and black pepper. Like probably like a teaspoon and a half of turmeric. I always do a little more turmeric than ginger powder. I got all the cinnamon. To activate the turmeric, you actually will need a, it sounds gross, but like a fat of some sort. I'm using coconut oil. You could use a different oil. A little bit in, that's honestly probably too much. This is like one single serving. And then also the black pepper activates the turmeric as well. And you can't taste it, so. 
So I will go ahead and pour that back into my mug. The lighting is just actually like incredible. Oh, I spilled, I was so close. That was the most horrible recipe to watch. But this is the finished product. I topped mine with black pepper and cinnamon and it is so delicious. You could probably ease up on the ingredients a little bit. I feel like mine is a little bit strong and spicy, but I don't really mind. I think I'm just going to clean my room and go to bed and I'm actually going to end the vlog here as well. So I'm sorry this has been such a random video. I'm trying to get back into a video schedule because graduation was like so crazy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.